everyone, I'm Gayatri Strategy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to answer a few questions that I have found uh, in the minds of the people who are shifting to Shapurji Palunji Joyval Havara. I've just recently shifted and yet don't know what to do about certain things and some who want to shift here. So, let's begin. Starting with a major question that are the windows leak proof or not? Absolutely not. At first, they had these windows in a weird way. I'm going to show you. If you see, this is only one layer of aluminium. Okay, one layer of aluminium and then there is this big window. The window is quite big. It's quite big. And regarding the rails or, you know, the grills, you have to arrange for them yourselves. They won't provide grills if you ask. You have to ask from a local vendor to come and make it. And you cannot even choose your own design. You have to uh, get a layout done and then you have to submit it to the uh, floor management or FM. And after they approve, you get to make the grills. And they have to be the same color as well. So, that's not all. Regarding the windows, I'll have to go to uh, take you to another room. Now, if you see that I'm in a different room. And we had these windows slightly fixed after lots of complaining to the FM. So, I'm going to show you what are the changes that they They added this extra layer of aluminium. The, other, the previous layer is still there. They added this extra layer because the water was becoming too much and it was coming out spilling. But as you see, they have left their work unfinished. It's white here. The putti can be seen. See? The putti can be seen. They did it after it was all done and this was done by the FM. So, if your apartment is facing the same problems, you have to just ask them and they'll do it for you. You can see the previous layer of aluminium has not been removed. Okay, so the next thing that you need to know is that there are lots of electricity but they have a diesel generator but the main problem is that you will have to do make do with whatever you get because main stuff like the power point for the aqua guard then all the switches in the kitchen all the switches will go off you not be able to switch on anything not a microwave not uh, not even an aqua guard like uh, i mean water purifier so water purifier, washing machine, microwave, you know, at least water purif purifier is important. You might just be short of water, but even that's gone. And here you'll get the water is from directly from the soil. So it's very hard water. You have to use a better quality water purifier and preferably with an RO. Next we have is uh yeah the system for the air conditioners so you can only use split air conditioners in here you will not have any place for a window ac why they have already made holes for the acs here split acs and they have also already decided where to put the plug and the switch and it's quite inconvenient as you cannot really drill into these walls you can see how annoyingly these pipes are just out of place. So for the ones who installed air conditioners after shifting here, we've had a hard time. Yeah, like our decorations were messed up. Now, the next thing is, um, okay. The next thing is about the bathroom. So what about the bathroom? Um, I have 
not faced this problem yet, but some other residents have. Their mirrors in the bathroom have fallen because, and they have also attached screenshots of the same showing that the mirrors are just stuck to the wall by a double sided tape. Well, this is the mirror, and yeah, it comes out from the ugly hole, it goes there, and moreover, that's not all, you'll find that they have used stuff from the company called Johnson's on, on regard to everything, whether it's the wash basin or the toilet cover or the entire seat or the shower and even the lift even the lift that we use here it's all johnson's and one con about that is that you won't find the same models in the market very easily you have to search hard we had to search because our uh, while installing our geezer our wash basin broke into pieces so we asked the FM whether they could just give us the model number at least if they cannot provide a change we would pay for it so they couldn't they didn't provide a model number instead they just told us to install something of the same size and yeah that's what uh, next thing uh, that I was asked is how many windows per room one window per room okay i'll show you the windows in my room the window i usually close because i like it that way well this is my window don't mind the teddy bears i like it that way now i'll show you the other room here one room nothing else but that sorry, one window and uh, that window is quite big so we don't really have a problem and we also have a window per bathroom this is the kind of window sorry if the video is shaking i have a little bit of anxiety still had a tough time yesterday <laughs> okay and that's the one for the other bathroom Ours is a 2BHK LUXE and there is another window which is also in the kitchen which gives access to the outside where the outlets for the ACs and the chimney is there. I'm going to show you. This is the one. We made our grill in such a way that we can open and close it easily. You can see. Okay. So, we open it, open it from there, and the person just goes out. The, you can see that there are hooks on all sides. It just uh, that safety rope that, uh, that is provided. And then go down. That's all for the re uh, kitchen, I guess. Oh, by the way. Um, there is one more thing. This is a chimney. Your chimney pipe will go from here and come out of there, go through there and go out. Not the most convenient option. And this is the aqua guard that we use, or sorry, water purifier. And well, as I can see, it's already power shortage. So yeah, there you go and wait so the next thing is also again by the, the about the kitchen uh how did we get this extra wall cabinet is because we kind of made this wall here because we don't like an open kitchen for the ones who used to having a kitchen for, as a room separately you will find this place to be inconvenient because it so what we did was that we placed a wall here and then applied cabinets here and then you can see that 
since I have two dogs, what happens is if some stranger comes, then I don't want them to be locked up in a room. So what we have done is we've installed a door here. So if we want, we can also switch on the AC and just be ourselves. And uh, yeah, this door doesn't uh, come with joyable. You have to do it yourself. And the next thing is that, oh, the ugly pipeline. So, uh, can you see? Okay, not here. Here. Uh, yeah, that's the ugly pipeline I'm talking about. It's no longer that ugly because we've covered it with a false ceiling, which was not told or you know, lots of details were not there, like measurements and the kind of material that should be used in this case because the location and the height or depth of the pipeline was too horrible. And once you cover it up, you cannot really access it well. See, the lever is over here, but it's all covered up. We thought that it could be moved, but no, if it moves, your room looks like a disaster once again. And the next thing is that this main door is so heavy, so heavy that if it's just a little bit of temperature change, weather change outside, it'll just fall to one side and not close. So be ready to have some simple ups done because you'll need it. And... Um, well, while installing the lights, and if you want to change the fans that they've already provided, yeah, they provide the LED lamps on every socket. They provide fans for every room. But if you want to change the lights into some lamp, like instead of an LED bulb, you want a proper lamp in its place, like most people do, then you're up for some trouble because you need a bigger drill, a more powerful drill, which can drill through actual cement or concrete, that is. So, we had a tough time installing lamps as well. Because most, uh, most importantly, we were doing it ourselves, my father and I. And it was a really clean job. It was quite a mess thing. And... Um, Another important issue is that you won't find numerous network, uh, ne network connectivities over here. Only a few are available and Geofiber is not here yet. And today is, uh, I think, 17th August. Today is 17th August and we moved here approximately on, uh, on January and we booked it a year before. So, no. For network connectivity, I don't even get my calls that much. So I usually tell all my friends and acquaintances or whoever is going to call me to just call, do me, uh, get me a WhatsApp call because only the internet connection becomes stable at times. Or else, if you're used to 480 pixels, that's not a problem. Coming back to the veranda, we have a few more things that I have to show you, especially from the veranda. So we have open parking and closed parking, but in the sense of open parking, um, open parking is all right, but they haven't really allotted a sl separate slot for each apartment. And they even change our parking allotment numbers quite often. Like suppose uh, we had 155, for three months all of a sudden we see that 155 has been shifted to another location so we have to go and search for where is 155 and then park your car or bike or whatever and next thing is according to RERA uh, you cannot really uh, use what uh, the definition of a closed parking is three walls and one roof but in here the closed parking is not three walls and one roof it's just the ground floor which is empty and they are just using it like you know basically the layout is not according to government rules and so the closed parking is a bit fishy and moreover they have uh, 
please bear with me i have a little bit of anxiety okay so they haven't used the shed on the windows at such a height we are on the 7th 17th floor and they have not used any window shed also so the wind is very strong and because of that the rain seeps in through the windows like a flood and you can expect your walls to be drenched completely and in a few cases their entire apartments were flooded so that's what and um, well don't remember much now um, oh yeah and they also don't provide a deed for the car parking that's all for now i'll let you know more if i get more information bye